Hey, Graham. Hey, Gia. I need your help again. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. So I just played this hand on uh, Skybridge Club. Uh, Graham, I, I, I think you've played today's hands. I think you'll recognize it. Um, in short, I wanted to sacrifice. I didn't. And then at the end, when I saw the results, I wish I did. That doesn't mean it was the right thing to do, but I was hoping you could give some guidance about when we should sacrifice and when we shouldn't. All right, let's have a look. All right, here's a hand. All right, so um, yeah, bidding it, I, I, I mean, I wish I could bid a week two clubs, but I can't, right? <laughs> right, so why, why can't you bid a week two clubs? Uh, cause a strong two club would show a way stronger hand than I have. And that's just a, right, 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 right. a sad consequence of that special bid, isn't it? There you go. Okay. Right. So now what? Yeah, well, exactly. Graham. Now what? So North overcalls two diamonds, uh, showing a good five card diamond suit. That's it. Um, I have this beautiful long club suit. I could overcall that. I could overcall diamonds, supporting partners' diamonds, um, or I could pass. They're vulnerable. Right. Okay. So, good, all interesting points. I think you've nailed the different options. Uh, the fact that they're vulnerable is a good time to sacrifice because if they make a game, if they make their four spade vulnerable, that's 620. Mm. That means we can go three off, doubled, and we will only lose 500 points. Four off would be too much, but three off would be okay. Now, if East-West weren't vulnerable, their game scores 420, and we would only be able to afford to go two off. So the vulnerability is really important, and you know, I've said it a, a million times before, and they'll learn how to score Learn how to score. We got to learn how to score. As some of you already do. I, I don't, I don't, I rely on the automatic scorekeeping too often. Okay. There you go. Okay. So you're, and then you're saying, well, we could pass or we could bid clubs or we could bid diamonds. How many clubs do you have between the two hands? <laughs> Six plus. Um, right. How many diamonds do you have between the two hands? Eight plus. Right. So you do have a diamond fit and you don't know about the clubs. So um, there's a you could bid five clubs and see what happens. But if you were, you were going to do anything, maybe diamonds would be better because you do have a, uh, you know you've got a diamond fit. And perhaps that club suit can be a useful side suit. If if we over if we sacrificed uh, with two uh, five clubs, would partner be in a position with no clubs to bid five diamonds? I guess partner does partner might assume we have no diamonds. So it'd... well, it's interesting. But partners might assume that you've got something in diamonds because why would you all of a sudden be coming in at the five level? So there's a kind of implication here that. You do have something in diamonds. It's getting pretty subtle. Okay. It, um, leaves, it leaves the room for things going wrong. Right. So how about, so you want to, I'll show you what, let's, let's redo it because I did actually play this hand an hour or so ago and I had a, I had a slightly different auction. Ah, are you, you set up Ackle or different because your opening bid was? Yeah. My opening bid was different. <laughs> All right. Take us back to the beginning, Graham. Well, look, we're supposed to have, we, you said it, we want to preempt on this hand and we can't bid two clubs because that would be a strong hand. So I just bid three clubs, which is supposed to be a seven card suit. So I'm just not quite the right bid a little but lie it's a little lie but if ever i'm going to lie this is the good time because i've got mm. uh nothing in the outside suits mm. no points in the outside suits i've got all my 
strength in clubs. I'm short in the majors. The vulnerability is good for a uh, sacrifice. So I just did three clubs. Wow. Oh, Graham, I love it. And I, one could guess that any regular partner of yours would probably know that sometimes when you wish you could pit a week two club, and of course you can't, sometimes you tell a little lie and bid a three club. Yeah, you know, the thing with this sort of a hand, this, you could give this hand to a lot of good players and I'm, I'm certain that many, many of them would open three clubs on this hand. That at this vulnerability with not vulnerable versus vulnerable, wow. with a good six card suit, it's just quite common strategy to open a preempt here. Mm. And North, our partner will know that because we're not vulnerable, maybe we're pushing the boat out a bit. Oh, neat. Oh, well, that's so much simpler, Graham. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me earlier? Well, with, some Graham, actually... follow up with one quick question just about that sacrifice, knowing the vulnerability and knowing as you did, we could afford to go three down with them being vulnerable. Do you get a sense? Like, how would you judge if you think we might only go three down versus four down. Uh, it's, it's basically the number of trumps you've got between the two hands. The better the trump fit, the more likely you want to sacrifice. Points don't matter so much. So on your auction, we where your partner overcalled two diamonds, yeah, you had, you've got three card diamond support, mm, dodgy. If mm. you had four card diamond support and a, and this maybe um, one less hard or one less club. Same number of points, but better trump fit, then you're more likely to, the sacrifice is more likely to be worthwhile. Okay. That's now, the, other, the, the thing too here is one important point here, I think, if you are going to sacrifice, it's good to do it early before the opposition have been able to um, show what they've got. So, for example, if North had bid three diamonds and East had bid something, now would be a great time to just blast off into five diamonds before East and West know what's going on. Right. But as the auctions, by the time West has bid and North has bid and East has bid, East and West have got a better idea about what they should be doing. So they're less likely to make a mistake now. They were able to find their fit. They know what's going on. But what happens if we throw them this early curveball? Graham style. Oh, Graham yeah, looks all easy. Oh. <laughs> you're scared them off you see scared. it won't always work right but it's um, we just take away their bidding space early and mm. preempts, work. preempts work Graham thank you gosh yeah I, I, I wish you had been here earlier before I played that hand but I'm grateful to have you uh, just a ring away afterwards um, thank you everyone for joining us uh, you can uh, join Graham's class. He teaches a weekly online class here at LearnBridge Online, learnbridgeonline.com forward slash Graham dash Tufnell. Graham, until the next time, thank you. Rock and roll. We got to get ready. Your class is about to start. Yeah, yeah. I got to shave. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.